the sun rose and set on this matinee movie idol. <laughs> seven brides for seven brothers. Uh, Kismet, Kiss Me Kate, Annie Get Your Gun, Showboat, Carousel, Howard Keel. Welcome to television, Howard Keel. Thank he's you, going to be joining the cast of Dallas. Right. Big, and he's going to be Dusty's dad. Right. Okay, now I have an idea for the scriptwriters. You do, huh? I'm sure that they have probably thought of it and run it by you. Are you going to be a love interest for Miss Ellie? Having the foggiest. I don't know yet. Uh, it could go that way. You know, she's a very attractive lady, very nice lady. I like her. Have you worked with any of the people, the cast members from Dallas before? before? No, no, I haven't. Oh, so it's going to be a whole new. You're, oh, you're, sure. You're joining yeah. the hottest program in town. I know, I know, I know. And it's been very pleasant experience. Really. You look wonderful. Thank you. I feel great. How have you kept your, your figure, your shape, your size, your voice? Well, I keep an action. You know, I keep going. I've been working on stage and doing musicals and things like that. And uh, I think that keeps you going. You know, one of the most delightful things, one of the nicest experiences I've ever had was last night in a restaurant <laughs> where Howard King happened to be loud, sitting brother. at the next table. <laughs> And then he start, we're having a many margaritas and so on. He started to sing. Why did you start to sing? You know, I can't really explain it because my wife said, told me, she said, I've never seen you do that before. And I hadn't. I, I, when I get a couple of drinks, I never sing because I know I'm going to sing lousy. And, uh, but last night, I don't know, I just kind of felt so great, you know. And I was sitting there, and lovely people, and those, one of those mariachis come around. You've got to sing with a guitar. I love guitar. And they, when they started, and I, and I know them, and they're wonderful guys, I thought, well, you know, what the heck, let's sing a little bit. And, uh, and I got started, and I uh, had a lot of fun. Well, you know, the piano player happened to be playing some of your songs? Yes, <laughs> he, he was a little teaser there. <laughs> you know, that little Filipino guy was going to, and he knew all of them. I know. In many keys. Yes, because I went to him, and I hugged him oh, a great did. deal, and I said, do you know, <laughs> and he gets your gun, and he that. said, I know, I'll get all gun. I says, yeah, I'll hum a few bars. The girl that I marry will have to oh, be. Yeah. And he said, uh, and he was really good at picking up the chords. Yeah. And he, I said, and, and I saw you look over. I saw you kind of listen. You, you picked up the string. I said, you got him, you got him. And then you started to mouth the words. Then you started to sing. And in her hair she'll wear Then you gardenia. couldn't get me shut up, did you? Oh, we couldn't That's shut him the, up, and it was wonderful. You never fool around with a drunken bar room oh, drawer singer oh again. Oh, my ever. goodness. <laughs> you, Serves you right. You know Howard. You know Howard Keel. He certainly does. <laughs> <laughs> you know him very well. Gordon McRae, our friend who now resides in Lincoln, Nebraska. That's what I understand. Did you two ever do anything together? No, never did. Never did. But I think of you as from the same ilk. Well, the, same the same era. Yeah, yeah. Gordon's a good singer. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful voice, Main, beautiful voice. Maintain, it's, a, it's a, a similar quality. I don't know that much about music, but um, a similar quality. He's a yours. lighter baritone to me. He's, a, he's, re, he's, he's really a true baritone. I'm a bass baritone. Um, they call it basso cantante, singing bass. Do you smoke? I used to smoke heavily. I you, quit about 1953. Do you think it affects the voice of singing oh, voice? Oh, sure it does. Of course it does. It's like barbecuing your chords. Mm. You know, it, smoking is really a very stupid and dirty habit. Mm. How did you kick it? I kicked it. One night I was sitting in the television set and I had some tough singing coming up. I was going to do the first engagement in Las Vegas that I've ever done at the old Last Frontier. And then you did two a night, three on Friday and Saturday. And Sunday you had to do three. And I said, I can't do this and smoke. So I quit cold turkey. I laid it down one night and didn't, and the first 24 hours I was so proud of myself. Yeah. I never, it never bothered me again. Then I got back on them and it took me about three years to quit. Then it was tougher. But I finally, I quit again in 1960, oh, I think it was. Well, I'm glad sense. you did that. He's oh, also sure. a pilot. Do you, do you still fly? No, I, I gave it up. I, I got to traveling so much and I felt myself getting a little rusty. So that's nothing to fool around with. But you started out with uh, uh, Douglas Aviation? Well, I started out working in aircraft. Mm -hmm. I worked in aircraft for eight years. I lied about my age and got a job at Douglas when I was uh, just 17. I was tall and skinny and they kind of looked uh, with uh, tender eyes on me and put me to work. What kind of a rating did you get? As a mechanic? As No, you were as a pilot. Oh, uh, I'm only single engine. Really. Ah. I started to work in twins and uh, started working on, on an instrument ticket. But I've got about 300 hours, not a great Well, thing. listen, we have one of the longest runways in the world. You do. In Lincoln, Nebraska, 12,900 feet. <laughs> uh, the runway 35 and runway 17 parallel and, and across runway 3214. Anytime you want to come in with the most sophisticated ILS landing equipment. <laughs> 
You're <laughs> welcome to please come and visit us. Thank you. I love welcome that. to television. Thank you. Welcome to Dallas. We're going to be watching him and see what's happening on that show. You never know He's going on to Dallas, get into do you? Something, I tell you, those sure. guys are always up to some kind of skullduggery. Howard Keel, what a delight. And we'll be back in the show right after this word. <laughs>